I'm going to start this video on a very, uh, I guess you could say depressing note, and that is uh, Tony Fernandez, the Toronto Blue Jay great, one of the best shortstops uh, of his career, uh, mid-80s to early 90s, uh, has passed away at the age of 57. Um, there was complications of a kidney disease that he had and a stroke he suffered while in the hospital that uh, led to his uh, death. Um, Fernandez during his baseball career was one of the best, if not most entertaining shortstops in the league, in the American League at least. Um, I mean, just looking at his career, he had a, a career 288 batting average, 1,057 runs, 844 RBIs, 246 stolen bases, uh, 347 on base, 399 slugging. Uh, I'm not a big war person, but he had a 45.3 career wins above replacement. Uh, 2,227 hit, 26 hits. Um, I mean, he was a four-time All-Star. A five-time All-Star. No, four. I'm freaking messing up. Four-time All-Star, four-time Gold Glover. Um, uh, and he ultimately helped Toronto win, I would I would say, two World Series rings, 92 and 93. Because in 1992, uh, he was traded with Fred McGriff to the Padres to get Roberto Alomar and Joe Carter, who were key pieces in that team, in the 92 and 93 team. And then back in 1990, and then fast forward to 1993, Fernandez was traded uh, to the Blue Jays by the Mets, and he was a key part in that World Series run in 1993. I mean, I believe it was, I don't remember which game it was. Game, It was a home game. I think game five, maybe? Game six? I don't necessarily remember. But he had a five RBI, he had a five RBI game. And just, the Phillies could not stop him. And people remember Joe Carter's home run as they should but if Fernandez didn't have that 5 RBI game 6 I want to say Carter wouldn't have been in that spot to hit that home run if Fernandez didn't get uh, put the team on his back in game 5 or 6 um, and I mean like I said one of the best, most entertaining shortstops during his playing career and there's really no way I can segue this, so I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, Mike Clevenger has a partially torn meniscus in his left leg. He's going to be out. Timetable for him to be out six to eight weeks. Now, Clevenger's a tough guy. He had a... He strained his upper back in the beginning of last season. The timetable for that was six to eight weeks before he could even pick up a ball again. Six to eight weeks later, eight weeks later, he was on the mound pitching. So he's a tough, he's a tough boy. He's a tough guy. So hopefully he can come back from this partially torn meniscus and um, be the ace of that Indians rotation because they, he kind of is the ace. It's him and Carlos Carrasco and they need him to stay healthy as well. And what, what I think hurts Clevenger the most is that it's his left knee that has the partially torn in this is his plant layer. So that's going to give him some uh, problems. Might not feel comfortable to land on that leg in some moments. Uh, so that'll be something to watch out for at the end of spring training, uh, going into the uh, regular season. Uh, some trade news, which is very surprising. Uh, the Giants and the Athletics made their first trade since 1990. The first major league trade they made a minor league trade in, I think, 2005. That was a minor league trade. But they've made their first major league trade uh, since 1990, I believe, yesterday. Uh, they traded, uh, the Giants traded Burt Smith to the A's for cash considerations. It's not a huge trade, but the ramifications of a Giants A's trade is kind of pretty big. And um, Kevin Pillar signs with the Red Sox. He's going to be. Um, he's gonna 
kind of be, I guess, the depth guy on that team. He's a great fielder. He had a really breakout year last year. I think almost, uh, almost 30 homers. So he's putting the offensive side of the ball into his repertoire now. He's becoming better and better on the offensive side, which is good for him. Um, but, yeah, I I don't mind Pilar being signed by the Red Sox. I think it's a good, safe move. And uh, let's see how he does in the Red Sox uniform. Uh, so that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, press the like button. Subscribe down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Let me know about any of these moves. Uh, what you guys think about them uh, or anything. Uh, share this video with all your friends and buddies. And I will see you guys in the next episode.